Hey guys, it is me, Happy Sarikun. Welcome back to Scum Survival. So in front of us, we have this Vinsky Vr town. And I'd like to tell you the rules of this world so zombies do 100 times more damage. Basically, they can kill us with just one attack. And on top of that, every time I loot a location, I just cross it off the map and boom, there's already a map with all the locations that we've looted. And today we're gonna finish looting this town and then I'll never be able to come back here again. So we just have to be careful. Last time we also bought this compound bow. I have no idea where's the zombie. Wherever it is, I'll get it. <gasps> no! Close the door! I cannot use this compound bow! Why? Am I really that weak? I can't even draw the arrow. I need a toolbox. I need a toolbox to readjust it. No! I cannot draw this bow because I bought it and it says that it's 60 pound bow here. And I know that you can readjust it, but for that you need a toolbox. Well, I still have a pistol in case things go south, but I'd like to keep that pistol for bunkers. So let's jump down this bush and let's craft ourselves a new bow. All right, so I've gotten here a couple of sticks. We have crafted this improvised rope and now with this improvised rope, we're gonna craft this 20 pound basic bow. All right, so the camera stopped working, but hey, we've crafted after this bow, we've already killed this zombie over here. So apparently it did not put enough strength into this character, but it did put medium skill into archery. But probably that doesn't matter as you need to have higher strength in order to be able to use a higher poundage bow. But I hopefully in this town, we are going to find ourselves a toolbox and maybe just maybe with that toolbox, I'll be able to adjust that compound bow because I'll be so sad if this is the only bow that I can use. I'd like to use that compound bow. Hello, anybody's home? All right, this place is empty, but we can find a toolbox in this place place. We have gotten a box of tracer ammo. So let's get that tracer ammo with us. We're going to sell it to the traders. And if I cannot adjust that compound bow, I just bought it for no reason. I've spent like, what, thousand cash or something on it. That's not cool. All right, let's deal with this zombie over there. Well, at least these broadhead carbon arrows work and we still can kill these zombies with one shot. But again, this bow does not zoom and I'd like it to zoom. All right, so we've already looted this building, this building, and this building over here. Haven't found anything substantial. But hey, let's go into these buildings over here and soon we should start finding garages and also up there, there is a police department. So we will loot something serious today, finally. All right, nothing inside of this hut and I can already see a zombie chasing after us. Let's get a nice kill here. Let's go, let's loot the puppet. Excuse me, a zombie, because for those who don't know, these zombies are not called zombies. They're called puppets, but I like to call them zombies. But at the same time, potato patata. All right, another building and anybody's here. Every time I enter a building, I try to check it for zombies, if it's clean or not. And guess what? This building wasn't only clean from zombies, but it was also clean from loot. Very, very awesome. And you know what else is awesome? You, because I know that you've smashed that like button on the video. Thank you guys for all of your support. I really appreciate that. And we're gonna hop now into another building over here. And here we go, another zombie. Uh-oh, still alive. Okay, so the zombie survived to the leg shot. Actually, it was probably an ankle shot. We've got another motorcycle jacket, which I don't really need as I don't really have that much space. I'd like to take that motorcycle jacket and put it in my car to sell it later, but I don't have a car yet. Maybe here we'll find a car. Maybe here I'll find a gas canister. I'd love to find it. All right, there's another zombie here. Thank you for your cooperation and thank you for sleeping. A toolbox! Ladies and gentlemen, I almost choked. <laughs> almost, almost choked when I found it. Wait, let's get the toolbox. Adjust draw weight. Check this out, guys. It does work. So you can definitely adjust it with the toolbox. Look at this. It works. It works. So it became 55 pound bow. What? It was 60 pound bow. I couldn't use 60 pound bow, but I can use 50 pound bow. Okay, whatever, Boomer. I'm not. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna say anything. Adjust draw weight. Maybe I can adjust it again. If I click adjust it, does he lower the draw weight or does he increase it? No, it still stays at 55. So that's it. That's all we need to know. Amazing, beautiful, 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 beautiful. That's it. We don't. We no longer need that 20 pound bow. Bleh. Which again, that 20 pound bow isn't really bleh, as it saved me a lot. It saved me many times. Whatever. Let's get this small toolbox in the inventory. It fits here perfectly, at least for now. As soon as I run out of space, we're gonna get rid of it. But hey, that was awesome. We've just entered the town and we've made this bow already much, much better. Say so now, when I'll be shooting somebody. It can zoom in and it's going to be much easier to get headshots from further away. So I am loving this compound bow. Except the only problem with this compound bow is that's... Oh no. Is that sometimes when it zooms in, it does drop a few frames here and there. The game kind of freezes for a second. But I've kind of gotten the habit of that, so it's fine. And plus, I think with every update, there are less and less those stutters when you use this compound bow. So it's all fine. All right, let's also get ourselves this... Small screwdriver does fit here in the work paints. So it's just the beginning of this town, but we are already getting some decent loot. All right, we've gotten another small toolbox. I'm definitely not getting this other small toolbox. It's as if this game heard me, you know? I spoke that I want toolboxes and we've gotten 
bunch of those toolboxes. So, game, if you listen to me, please give me a gas canister. Please give me a car because if we can find that, that's it. We can drop our bicycle, which I don't mind the bicycle. Bicycle is all right. It's way better than walking on foot. Plus, we don't need any repair kits for it. We don't need anything. It's just a bicycle. All right, I've just heard a zombie somewhere. I'm going to step backwards because I have no idea where it is. All right, there's that zombie. Nice shot, Cyric. Thank you very much. And here, go. I'm just shaking my own hand here. Because I don't know if you guys congratulate me for these shots or not. All right, and before we go higher, I think we could go and loot this building over here. Because we've looted everything here on the right side. But I haven't looted anything here yet. A zombie, perhaps? Nope. We've just gotten another sewing thread. So I guess let's get that sewing thread. And that's it. We can leave this building and we can go a bit higher. So this is not a very big town. Sometimes towns are bigger. Most of the time, towns are pretty big when they have a police department. And this one... And this town does have a police department. For some reason, it's still pretty small. It's probably the smallest town there is that has a police department. Maybe there are smaller ones. All right, there's also this mask. Scary rabbit mask. Let's get that scary rabbit mask. How do we even look like when we equip it? Can I look at myself? I mean, it is pretty cool, not gonna lie, but we're gonna get rid of it as we can sell those masks. If you're new to Scum Survival, for some reason, traders love to buy those masks. And I'm also gonna get these balaclavas. We will sell them later. I don't know if we're gonna go to the traders today as they are kind of further away. We've been at the traders many times, but at the same time, if I don't go to the traders, I won't be able to get more loot, so it will be pointless for us to progress kind of further as I need to get a car. So yeah, I'm hoping that we'll find a car here or at least a quad. Like, whatever I'll find here, I'll be happy. All right, here we've got a big fireworks, which I'm not gonna use in some more metal scrap. Thank you very much. All right, let's close the door. Let's go here to this building. Hello? Anybody home? Oh, no, we've just gotten some hiking boots. The current boots that I have, they have 99% wetness, but still, when I go to metabolism, for some reason, I don't have any trench feet. I don't have any wet feet here, so I have no idea why is that. And doesn't matter. You know what? I'm not gonna complain about it. We've gotten a cleaver, but we don't really need that cleaver as we have this M70 bayonet. So I'm gonna keep that bayonet, as I'm gonna assume that bayonet is better than the cleaver. But at the same time, they're all probably the same. I just need that knife to, to maybe make some sort of arrows or cut down some rags into something and that's it. That's all I'm using that knife for. We've gotten a padlock, which I don't need. I am going to take, however, these open fingerless gloves. All right, there's a zombie outside. A riot zombie. Not a simple one. Nice headshot. Headshot to the dome. All right, let's close the door. Give me back my arrow. And yeah, last time, guys, we did buy 24 of those broadhead carbon arrows. So now even if I miss one or two of those arrows, everything's going to be fine. And you know what? If there will be multiple zombies attacking us, at least I'll be able to get them. All right, let's close the door. Okay, nobody's here. I thought... I thought maybe that's somebody. But no, that's just a wooden pallet. Okay, I thought there's a zombie here in the corner. But apparently not. Where we've gotten ourselves some electrical tools. Don't need those electrical tools. Anybody there? Nope. Where's a zombie? I can hear it. And it's clearly somewhere very close to us. Maybe I am gonna go outside. Whatever, close the door. I think it's coming after me. I think it was, it was coming after me. I could have died there. Because you see, sometimes they run really fast. Sometimes they run a bit too fast. Let's go. Let's deal with the guy. Give me back my broadhead carbon arrow. Thank you very much. All right, and we have a couple of garages. Very awesome. Sometimes these garages can have a vehicle. Duh. Most of the time, I do find vehicles outside, though, like standing over here somewhere. But I, sometimes you can find them in garages. Most of the time, I found quads in garages instead of big vehicles, SUVs, etc., etc. SUVs or pickup trucks are rarer to find in garages, but maybe it's just random. All right, let's open up the first garage. All right, nothing here besides a car repair kit. All right, it has 7% durability. It's not 7% durability. It's 7 out of 20 durability. Okay, we can get it. All right, so it's very awesome, except we already have one car repair kit. I was expecting that maybe we'll get a better one. All right, let's get this screwdriver and let's put it in our Spravan bag over here. And I think really soon we are also going to leave this winter location because we're almost done looting everything here. All right, we've gotten ourselves 12 gouge shotgun shells. Let's get those. We've gotten a sledgehammer. I'm going to get that sledgehammer instead of this axe at least for now we're gonna sell it at 600 cash so let's somehow some way find some space i'm gonna get rid of the small toolbox check this out guys i can place an axe over here i'm gonna get rid of the these two empty bottles and yes yeah, somehow some way we are having more and more space let's close that garage door as i don't want any zombies sneaking up behind us when those zombies don't kill us with one attack when they don't do 100 times more damage it's not really that big of a deal we can keep the door open but here i don't really take any risks all right and here we've got another car repair kit another 7 out of 10 durability car repair kit okay wish we could come 
combine those scar repair kits, that would be much better. We've also gotten some work paints. I think I can fit them here in this pilot jacket. And we've gotten ourselves another Scrooge Viver. Very, very lovely. My character's already thirsty once again. Let's get one more balaclava. And to be honest, if I don't make any mistakes and everything goes smoothly, maybe using a bow is even safer than using a gun because a gun can jam randomly. Even if maybe it's at full durability and everything's at 100%, maybe there's still a slight chance for the gun to jam as you never know when it's gonna jam. So using a bow during this lethal season is maybe smarter. Again, there's no way we'll be able to loot bunkers with the bow. That's why we have ourselves a pistol. I'd like to get maybe some sort of a submachine gun or an assault rifle before we go to a bunker. That'll be better. All right, nothing here. Before we go to the police department, I'd like to loot everything around this place. And then we're gonna loot that police department as that's like some sort of special candy. Have I been here? No, I haven't been here yet. Well, I take my words back. We've actually looted this building. We've looted this building, but I haven't been here yet. Let's loot these things. This is probably a pharmacy. All right, so right now maybe pharmacies are worth it as here we can find bandages. All right, is there a zombie on the top? Okay, so there are no zombies here. Apparently there's a zombie outside, but I've locked all the doors, so we should be safe. But yeah, now maybe pharmacies are gonna have isopropyl alcohol, maybe some sort of bandages so we can sell that stuff for a really nice price because we don't really need any bandages as we, we're just gonna die with one shot, but we can still sell that stuff. Let's get a nice headshot. Thank you very much. Let's get out of here. Let's get this arrow. Any more of those masks? Because they're awesome, like 500 cash, that's the easiest way to get cash in the game. All right, so my character started losing lots of stamina. I think before we got into that pharmacy, I think I could come over here and perhaps chill a bit. Let's go, let's lay down, let's restore some stamina. And hey, let's hop into this pharmacy over here. Usually it's pretty safe. I mean, there are no beeping zombies or anything. And I wanna know if the loot is a bit better. All right, so here we've gotten vitamin pills. I'll try to get them with us here. Maybe I can sell them later. I have no idea. Uh, before, we couldn't really sell those vitamin pills or if we could sell them, they costed only like one or two cash or something. So maybe that doctor will pay a better penny for it. We will figure that out. Let's go to the second floor and clean up zombies. Nice. That means loot is easy to get if there is any loot. <laughs> That's the keyword. If there's any loot. Let's get some more cash. And if I don't get any assault rifles or submachine guns, then we're gonna buy ourselves one, but they're quite expensive. They're like 7,000 cash or something. And currently we only have 2,800 cash. And hey, sadly this pharmacy didn't have anything epic besides some vitamin pills. Well, maybe we can sell those vitamin pills. I don't know. We've gotten more tactical gloves. Not really certain if they're good or not, but hey, let's get that stuff in the pilot jacket. And this said the garage was completely looted. Let's up over here. And sadly, I still don't see any cars. I have seen zero SUVs, so there have to be at least some of them somewhere. Oh, there's a zombie. Look at this. We're gonna get a headshot through the wall. <laughs> That's it. We've gotten a headshot through the wall. That's epic. Thank you for clipping through the wall, mate. That was the easiest headshot in history. All right, so we've been here. We haven't looted this whatever shack. And yeah, then we're gonna go around this town. So maybe this town isn't as small as I thought. It's quite decent. We've gotten another sledgehammer. Dude, I, I don't have space for it. That'll be more cash. 600 extra cash. Uh, but, but, but I can't take it. it. It won't fit. All right, so it does fit horizontally like that. So maybe I can fit some stuff. <laughs> what am I doing? My character will barely be able to walk. Just check this out. Walking like this slowly, I'm losing stamina like crazy. Like probably without any gear, you lose less stamina while running. And here we're just walking and I'm losing stamina insanely fast. All right, do I have any lead plates with me? I have no lead plates, so I cannot craft any bullets. A little bit of gunpowder, but I do believe I have some gunpowder here. Oh yeah, I do have some gunpowder in the work paint, so that's fine. That's it, nothing over here. Then we'll have to hop on the bicycle, and yeah, we'll definitely have to go to the trader and sell some stuff there, even though I'm not too excited about that trip. All right, so let's follow this road. Oh, zombie, perhaps. Shot to the... Okay, that zombie's still alive. I have no idea why it went back to sleep again. But hey, we've got a double kneecap shot. That's why we've killed the zombie. The good old double kneecap shot. An arrow to the knee. We've gotten that kitchen knife. Luckily, we have a better knife. And yeah, I'll have to be resting here way more often. Let's quickly lay on the ground. And hey, let's restore some stamina because it's not a joke. We're almost always on zero stamina now. We can even go to probably metabolism and gear weight, 42 kilos out of 50. Even when I have my backpack fully filled, I don't have that much gear. So I'm probably losing calories like crazy. I'm losing my liquids like crazy. We'll need to drink again quite soon. But hey, cash, baby, cash. And then we'll be able to get ourselves a submachine gun. Maybe. Still not certain if we'll have enough cash for it, but maybe. <gasps> Toolbox to repair these sledgehammers. You don't need a whatever thing it's called. 
A grinding stone, right? You need a grindstone to repair that stuff. I've forgotten. And we've gotten another scary rabbit mask. Let's take that into the wool sweater. And hey, we'll have to get back to get the, those toolboxes. And we will repair those sledgehammers. And we'll get like 2,400 cash from both of those things. That'll be worth it. Let's get the painkillers. And my character is already complaining that he is hungry. Do you even have any food? Yes, indeed. I did buy those cornflakes. So let's eat a few of those cornflakes. Each portion gives us 150 calories plus. So we eat them relatively quickly. So I'm going to eat a couple of cornflakes. That's it. Let's put that back here. Let's whip out the bow. And let's keep going towards that police department. But uh, there's also a grocery store. Hello? Any sleeping zombie here? Right, so everything's empty. So we did get, once again, another Asbinth, probably. Yes, Asbinth father, let's get it. Okay, so actually this Asbinth father takes lots of space, so I'm not taking it as I already have one. And I'm not even certain if we can sell it. But yeah, you probably can use that Asbinth father to pour on your wound. At least that's what I read in the patch notes, so I'm not certain. All right, nothing else in this grocery store. Let's close it. And hey, let's loot this building. Usually it has at least... One or two zombies. Well, this time zero. We've gotten a car battery, which is nice. But at the same time, I don't have a car and I don't have space for it. So we are not taking that car battery with us. If it had maybe like 50 uses at least, then I'd do it. But right now it's like three out of 100. So it's pretty much useless. There's got to be a zombie somewhere. Let's get ourselves another kill before that zombie is capable of doing any serious damage to us. Let's get back the arrow. And that is it. I think we're gonna loot these two buildings and then we can hop into the police department and then we are done with this town. All right, we've gotten another screwdriver. It does fit perfectly in this Perman bag. And that is it. Let's hop to the police department. Not really certain where I'll enter from. That's stupid. That's stupid. Should not have entered from over there. That was really stupid. I'm kind of running out of stamina. Okay, nobody's here. Okay, let's go. Let's hide over here. That'll be stupid. I'll have to open up this door and get those zombies. Maybe I'll get a gun. Yeah, we're gonna risk a little bit. Let's get this Desert Eagle magazine. We will sell it. And yeah, for this, I'll probably use a gun here, ladies and gents. That's gonna be something serious. Maybe I can go outside and shoot them through the door somewhere. Yeah, we can do that as well. But before we do this, let's go. Let's start lockpicking these locks here. Actually, I don't like it. They can teleport through the wall. I'll whip out the gun. I'll triple check if we have the bullets. We have the bullets in it, and that is it, ladies and gents. It's gonna be the first time when we use the, the gun here. Alright, let's close the door. That is epic. Hello, anybody else that wants a piece of me? Hello? Got him. Alright, so apparently nobody else is coming after us. Let's close the door. Let's put back the gun. And let's take out a few bobby pins. How many of them? We need three, four bobby pins. Let's go. Let's get the four bobby pins. Let's drop the gloves before lock picking. Again, I'm not really certain if they do anything. But there is an exclamation mark when I wear these gloves. So I don't want to put them on. Because check this out. When I equip these gloves, look at this. We're going to lock pick that stuff. There's like that yellow glove. And maybe it is a bit harder to lock pick. Or maybe it is still the same. Maybe these gloves are simple. Maybe that's why it's easy to lock pick it with them. Because these gloves are simple. I don't know. Whatever. The first lock empty. The second lock had this. Key card kill box to B3. And wait, it's not B3, it's D3, right? In the D3 square. So it is not super far away from us, but it is kind of far away. Without a car, it is far away from us. So I'll get that. I'm not even taking that. All right, all right, guys. I'll take that kill box. All right, I'm taking that kill box card. It fits here in the woolen sweater, but probably it'll just expire because there's no way we are going to go to the kill box right now with this gear and no car. Where will I store the loot? Whatever. Let's loot this place. I think we're going to hop now to the second floor to wake up the zombies if there are any zombies, but I think we've killed all of them as if there were any zombies, they would have probably hurt us by now as I've used the gun there unless they got stuck or something because sometimes they might lag and they don't hear gunshots for some reason. That does doesn't always happen. Check this out. It's all empty. Yeah, everything's empty besides the second floor. Except it's not the second floor. It's the rooftop. All right, and the rooftop's empty as well. All right, on the rooftop, we've gotten another MP5 magazine. Let's get that MP5 magazine. I'm not really certain. Maybe I'll use those MP5 magazines on my own. Maybe I'll sell them. We'll see. All right, we've left the rooftop. Now, let's check the lockers. We've gotten this respirator. Respirator is awesome. It does fit here in this Perman bag. And if I'm not mistaken, respirators can go for 600 cash, maybe more. They're very expensive. Those respirators are extremely expensive. Probably more expensive than masks. Maybe again, some masks sell for more, some masks sell for less. But yeah, I do believe those respirators are insane. All right, there's another jacket, motorcycle jacket. Can't take it. Not enough space, sadly. I would like to at least get a gas canister. I will make some space, but at the same time, where will I take that gas canister? Even if I find it, I don't know. No cars, no gas canisters. It is sad. All right, let's take out two more bobby pins. Let's lock big these lockers. And that's it inside of the first lock. Nothing. And inside of the second lock, 
We've gotten some .45 ammo. Let's get it. It does fit in the backpack, so I might as well take it. All right, let's take out our bow, and let's see if this place has a police department kitchen. Probably doesn't. Nope, it does not. So let's try to get back to the beginning of this town. And somewhere here, we should find those toolboxes. Maybe I had a toolbox over here. I don't remember. Maybe in this place somewhere. Where oh, no, there is a zombie. Nice, sleep. Thank you very much. There has to be my arrow. Go ahead and give it back. And somewhere here, I've, I had that toolbox, haven't I? There we go, guys. We have another toolbox. So with this toolbox, we can repair the sledgehammer. Check this out. The sledgehammer is back at 100% durability. We can also repair this sledgehammer at least a little bit. Now it's at 87% durability. This is awesome. We cannot repair axes with the sledgehammers. You need different stuff for axes. You need, as I said, that grinding stone. But hey, that was awesome. We've just got an extra, I don't know, 500 cash just by repairing that stuff at least a little bit. Remember, there's a zombie in front of us. Let's get it. Thank you very much. It's cool when they cooperate with you and they just fall and die. <laughs> so I don't know if that's a good idea, but hey, let's sit on the bike and let's go to the trainers. That's gonna be quite a ride. All right, we might have a problem. I cannot ride with this bicycle all the way to the top. Maybe it's because I have this backpack. What if I drop the backpack here and let's try to ride it now. Maybe I also don't have the stamina. <laughs> I don't get it. It's not going to be easy. As I said, wish there was a way to just push your bicycle, but it doesn't work like that. All right, let's stand up and let's see if I'll be able to, to use this bike to get to the very top. Let's go. All right, so somehow, some way, I can definitely cycle. But hey, check this out. Look at the stamina going down. Look at the stamina going down. It's going like crazy. Maybe it's because I left the backpack. Maybe it's because I've done something else. But even now, I still don't have... Look at this. Stamina's going down, but I can't go higher. Well, let's say we're gonna leave it. What if I push it? What if I will keep pushing it little by little? Maybe that'll work. It doesn't even work. I can't even push it. All right, maybe it will work like this. If we go sideways, maybe that will work. I think it will work like that. What kind of bicycle is this? The bicycle is useless! Ladies and gentlemen, the bicycle is useless. It only works if I go like that. <laughs> Sideways! What is this? How will I sell my things? Well, again, in the guy's defense, it's winter. It's ice there. And cycling all the way to the top isn't the easiest thing to do. And I have almost forgotten Psych from the future. Go and cross off. Boom. This place that we've just looted. So we no longer can go back to that town. All right, let's pick up this backpack. It's 920 kilos. The game crashed. And the backpack was on the ground. It can despawn like this. The, the backpack can be gone. The backpack is still there. Oh, that's awesome. Huh. Ladies and gents, I was like 90% certain that the backpack will be gone. And I was like, what am I going to do if the backpack's gone? Is that it? Do we end the series? Do I start from zero? I was really, really, really angry. I was really, really worried as I had no idea that, that that's it. The backpack would have been gone. Because I do know that in the past, every time I died and I logged off and then I try to come back to get my loot later on, the backpack would be always gone. But luckily, it's still there. I am happy. We still have everything. <laughs> it is so painful to ride this bike. I kid you not. It's been... 10 minutes and I've only progressed this much. I'm not even halfway there. But I, even though it's a pain in the butt to ride this bike when we have so much gear, but still it's better than walking on foot, especially when we are going downhill. He's not using that much stamina and plus it's way faster. And hey, after forever and a little bit, we are finally back at the lovely trainers. All right, so there we go. There's the doctor. We're gonna sell him those vitamins if he's gonna buy that stuff. I have no idea. We will also need to buy some more food because when we were riding this bike, we were using lots of calories. Right now it says burn rate 220 calories per hour but it was like 400 to 500 calories per hour i'm pretty certain if i was going uphill that burn rate well, was even yeah. higher but hey, let's get to this guy oh no we don't even sell these sledgehammers to him we're gonna sell them to another guy then okay cool but hey, at least we can sell these scary rabbit masks for 380 so that was worth it to get them all right so let's sell them these miscellaneous things for 970 cash that is something now we are at 3800 cash all right stop it stop it something's with the bicycle it's making noise all right, that's better. Let's sell all the goodies to the armory guy. So check this out. We can sell the sledgehammer for 916 cash. We also have another sledgehammer that we can sell for 794 cash. So I thought they're 1,200 cash, but apparently I was mistaken. But as I said, we can sell this respirator for 727. That is very expensive. Way more than those masks that I've sold there. All right, so I'm going to sell him this stuff for 2,800 cash. We're going to sell him some sledgehammer, some balaclavas. Let's sell that. And just like that, we have almost 6,700 cash. All right, let's go to the doctor and let's sell him some things. All right, so you can buy those pills for 83 cash. Not that much. I expected something more, but I... Never mind about the expiration date. 
Those are fake anyway. <laughs> Dude, stop it. Those are fake, of course. I love this guy. This is probably my favorite trader so far. All right, let's sell him those things for 83 cash. So we're gonna hop here to the saloon to buy some water. But hey, I just want to show for you this miserable guy over there. All right, let's buy some more water. We're gonna buy three extra bottles of water. The average human walks 900 miles per year and drinks 22 gallons of beer, which means the average human gets 41 miles per gallon. Not bad. Amazing dad slash boomer joke. Awesome. All right, and this guy's gonna sell me some more of those corn flakes. Let's go. Let's buy two of those boxes of <laughs> corn flakes. All right, so let's leave the traders and somewhere there in this C2 sector. We have a dam, so let's go there. I think we can even see it from over here. So yeah, that's where we're going. And without all of that extra gear, the bicycle is so much better. We can go here uphill and my character is not dying. I think I'm gonna park the vehicle somewhere over here. And yes, indeed, it is so much better. With this gear, we can still go uphill and nothing bad's happening to us. All right, so I'm gonna park the vehicle over here. Let's step out of the vehicle. And hey, before we start shooting these, zombies let's also take here a quick breather to restore our stamina back to 100 and then we're gonna loot this dam all right that's it so we've rested i've drank some more water when we go to metabolism yeah a lot of the stuff is processing those cornflakes are still processing let's get the bow and somewhere here maybe there are gonna be zombies except so far i don't see anybody that is kind of weird i don't really want to fall and die but I remember once we've looted the lower part of this dam. But hey, check this out. If I'm gonna loot the top, that means I won't be able to loot the top again. But I still can loot the down part, right? That would be stupid if I would cross off this entire dam. So yeah, we're gonna only cross off the top part of the dam. But yeah, the bottom part of the dam is not gonna be crossed off today. All right, so let's go further and let's see what we can find here. Maybe some sort of a gas canister. That would be lovely. I don't know where I would fit that gas canister. But I think I'd find some space for it. All right, I can already see a zombie there in front of us. So let's put the guy to sleep. Maybe I'll try to... Okay, there are two zombies, not only one. There's one guy and there's another guy. All right, I'm gonna loot this car. We've gotten some more cash. There's never enough cash. All right, the zombie's already chasing me. Yep, that's me. Ah, oh, no! I missed it because of the compound bow. If it was another bow, I would not have missed it because it zooms in. And I'm stupid. All right, so we're going to descend somewhere here. And oh boy, oh boy, we got to get back the loot with those zombies. How will I do this now? Well, that's an unexpected turn. All right, so we're going to craft a little bit of rope. We're going to craft a basic bow. I don't have a backpack, but hey, I'm not crafting a backpack. I'm not crafting a full gear. I'm just going to get a bow and one arrow. That's all I need to retrieve my loot. <laughs> but that is awesome. You have to agree. I really did not expect that we we're gonna die today. Oh, I can have more arrows than just one. I can hold them in my hands. And then I don't know what I'll do with that stuff. Would be awesome if I could put those arrows on the back, but that doesn't work. I can't put those arrows on the back. Well, whatever. I can hold them in my hands and that, that's good enough. Whatever. Let's start sprinting towards that dam. And again, there's the prison that we've looted last time. <laughs> and check this out. When I don't have any gear and I'm sprinting, the stamina is not even going down that fast. And obviously before I retrieve that backpack, I'm gonna check out if the bow even works, because I don't know if I'll be able to take out the bows. The guy's gonna drop the arrows back on the ground, but will I be able to use that arrow from the ground? Will he pick it up? I have no idea. And that is it. There's the dam. Let's go. Let's say I'm gonna whip out the bow and can I load it up? No. Okay, so let's knock one arrow. So I can only have one arrow then. All right, cool. Well, let's hold these arrows with me. I'm gonna bring them a bit closer because I've crafted four arrows. So I might as well just use four of those arrows. There is the bicycle. Let's quickly rest up. The point is if I don't get a headshot with this ball, I won't be able to retrieve my body. I think it's pretty stupid of me to not craft a backpack. But again, that backpack is gonna take a while to craft. So you know what? I'm taking a bow. I'm already gonna knock one arrow over here. And that's all I need. Just one arrow, ladies and gentlemen, to retrieve my backpack. That's all I need. I don't have any spears. I don't have anything. So if I miss this arrow, I'm as good as dead, basically. I'll have to respawn again, and hopefully my backpack doesn't disappear if I die twice. I don't think so. There's my dead body. Look at this. Look at that guy sleeping there. Maybe I should be walking a bit slower to make less noise. I have no idea. You can already start placing your bets. Will I die for the second time? Or not? That is stupid. I should have gotten a backpack. I should have gotten a backpack. There's one zombie over there, and there's my dead body. Let's go. Let's try to retrieve the loot. I think before I do anything, though, I want to get back my compound bow, my axe, and instead of this current arrow that I have, I'll get this, this thing. Here we go. That'll be much better. Now I have a broadhead carbon arrow. Let's try to loot the body. Go on, go on, go on. Okay, we've looted the body. Let's get the military quiver, the backpack, the spavan bag, the tactical armor, the jacket, 
the helmet, the boots, and the paints. Let's get our uh, work paints. I don't think I've missed anything besides these Santa gloves. Let's get the Santa gloves. I can drop back this bow. And that is it, ladies and gentlemen. We were able to retrieve all of our loot. So I did not miss anything from my work paints. I did not lose anything from the backpack here. Everything's mwah. All right, and let's continue looting because I came here for a reason. I came here to loot these things. Wait, there's no way they're only toilets. Why do I always forget that the only thing you can probably loot on this name are those toilets? Whatever, let's get this guy from farther this time let's go <laughs> there we go one kill there must be something else here but no apparently that's it well maybe there are some cars maybe these cars are gonna have a a gas canister maybe there must have been more zombies there no yeah there is a zombie where i go and maybe some of these cars will have a gas canister let's check it i could have bought a gas canister i think it's like three thousand cash but i don't really want to buy a gas canister for 3k there we go. There's another zombie. Nice, another shot. So yeah, it's a bit harder to shoot these zombies with this bow as it does zoom in. And if they are running or something, it's harder to aim at them. But again, those are just excuses, excuses. All right, and there's one more vehicle left for us to check out. And we have gotten more metal scraps. All right, there in front of us, there will be another town. So maybe that's what we will do. All right, so let's sit on the bicycle and let's leave this place. Let's go to that town. So my character was feeling hot. So I took off my gloves. I took off the hat. Oh, and Psych from the future, go and cross off this dam of the map. Just put a tiny little cross there. Ooh, and there's a building down there, ladies and gentlemen. Ooh, check this out, guys. There's a building and there is a boat. We could get it. We could claim it for ourselves. Again, I don't have fuel for it. So that's a problem. But at the same time, even if I get a boat, I won't be able to leave this place as we will will be stuck here in the water. There is no exit, but hey, we could check out the boat. Okay, it has 41% durability and that's it. It also said that it has a little bit of fuel, so we could use it. We could use the boat, but where am I gonna go with the boat? There's nowhere you can go with the boat anymore. Before there was an island, but that island became the trader's island and that's it, I think. So hey, this boat over there is probably the most useless thing in the game. Hmm, that is weird. When I'm walking, wetness goes down. Is that normal? Drying my clothes because I'm walking. I mean, that's how the, the feet wetness is gone. The military boots are still wet my socks are a bit wet but my wet feet are no longer wet feet i know that you can dry your clothes just off of your body heat but okay maybe that's how scum survival works i don't know but what i do know is that we're going to continue our adventures in the next episode so subscribe to not miss that video and uh, hey let's just check it out my another scum survival video click here on the second card and you'll go to my days gone let's play hop over to my channel go to playlist and there you'll find a lot of other games that i played here on the channel if you're not subscribed yet I'll definitely make sure to double subscribe button and notification bell to not miss any future videos and consider following me on instagram or twitter at episyric mm -hmm. yep